Happy Elul. Here we are on the ninth day. Uh, I'd like to, for our Kavanah for the day, read from Jill Hammer's Book of Days for the ninth of Elul. She first quotes Genesis, which says, Bilcha conceived and gave Yaakov a son. Rachel said, the divine has vindicated me. Indeed, the divine has heeded my plea and given me a son. Therefore, she named him Don. She also quotes Genesis Rabbah, which said, because of the spirit, because of the merit of Don, Rachel was remembered. I have a blind spot right there. It turns out I just found out from my ophthalmologist, <laughs> right where I'm trying to read. The birth of Don. Today, the ninth of Elul marks one month since the ninth of Av. Bilcha, Rachel's maid and Yaakov's concubine, gives birth to her son Don on this day, says Midrash Tadshe. Bilcha becomes Yaakov's concubine because Rachel, who desires offspring greatly, yet has despaired of having biological children, hopes Bilcha will bear in Rachel's name. The birth of Don is a renewal of hope for Rachel. It is telling that this birth occurs one month after Tisha B'Av. On Tisha B'Av, Rachel plays the part of the sorrowing mother whose children are in exile. Now in Elul, Rachel once again becomes a mother of joyful children, and not only her own children, but the children of others as well. In Elul, Rachel is the fruitful mother whose children are brought to her like the harvest brought in from the field. Bilcha, who bears a child to give Rachel hope, represents the hope we share with one another at this season. Genesis Rabbah relates how because Rachel and Bilcha act to preserve life, Rachel later merits to give birth to Yosef. Like the earth, Rachel embodies the urge to create. Tekia. <laughs> with these two shofaro they're so close you can you can mess with the the pitch of the beat it's fun we got the beat bye